Hi everyone, welcome to Lapis Compass. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Sagittarius for the first half of July. We're going to go ahead and pull cards from different decks and see what comes up for you. We are starting today with a Coffee Cup Oracle cards by Amira Salon. Beautiful deck, amazing energy. Let's pull a few themes for you and see what's going on. Mm. Look at that, we have Cat coming out, we have Moon coming out for you. Okay. And we have a ship coming out. Interesting. Okay, well, Saji, let's go ahead and start clarifying your cards and see what's going on here. We're going to start with that cat energy. Somebody's talking about you. I feel people talk about you because you stand out. I'm, all, I'm getting this energy of you attending some sort of event, you attending some sort of... Um, party some sort of event where you just stand out and a lot of eyes are on you um, you look good you exude uh, confidence um, you just stand out in the crowd and I do feel that a few people are jealous of that they're jealous of the way you present yourself and how people um, respond to you and yeah there could be a bit of a gossip around you yeah I am getting that energy <laughs> I feel like you're just not into it. <laughs> you, you're doing your thing. That's what I'm seeing here. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Very strong energy. Like I said, you're standing out in the crowd. You, you just, um, you, you're very different from other people in a very good way. And I do see that there could be somebody here who is very much interested in you. Could be a Gemini. Doesn't have to be. Could be even another fire sign, just like you, Sagittarius. Could be an Aries, a Leo, another Sagittarius. I feel like somebody wants to um, come towards you with a huge cup of love. There is a new romantic connection that is building up here. And I feel like this person, the person that is coming towards you, who's interested in you, they have a, ton, a lot of attention on them. There is also people that are interested in them. And those people are jealous watching you two building up this connection. That's what I'm getting here. But I feel like you're just ignoring it. With the Four of Swords, it's just like it, it literally comes past by you and doesn't affect you in any way. That's what I'm getting here. Um, there could be, like I said, some gossip around you. The people could be gossiping about you building up this new connection here. But again, I'm getting the energy that you're not, you know, you're just ignoring it. Like it doesn't bother you in any way. That's what I'm getting here. Interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and... Um, Pull some energy on this moon card here. What's changing here for you? Something is changing. What is changing? What's building up? Mm, the finances could be um, could be flowing much easier for you, Sajis. Yes, this is your card. Look at that. Uh -huh. mm, interesting. I am getting an energy of a change here for you in your financial flow. So the finances are flowing easier. Uh, for those of you who uh, you felt like the finances were stuck or you were stuck in your job, you were stuck in your career, not moving anywhere, there could have been a few disappointments here. There could be some losses here. I feel like you cut, uh, you uh, counted your losses and now you cut your losses. And now the finances are flowing easier for you. It's just a, an abundant flow, an easy flow of money coming to you. Uh, it's like as if you are balanced your energy. Energy. Temperance, this is uh, you, Sagittarius. This is you standing in your power. This is you overcoming the challenges of a disappointment. Um, and I am getting the energy of um, some sort of return, a return of finances here. Six, six, there is two sixes here. Um, this could be even a return of an old job, a new cycle in an old job. Um, somebody could be offering you uh, from your old um, company that you possibly work for. I feel like they could be offering you... Um, a position but I'm getting that it's not the same position that you were in it's the same people that you'd be working with but you're going to be coming in a much better position here possibly in a higher position so it's a new cycle it's a new cycle that is happening here there is a bit of an energy of a breakthrough here for you in your finances and in your career that's what I'm getting Let's go ahead and uh, clarify the ship energy. What is that here for Sagittarius? Some of you could be going on a, a travel. Some of you have just recently traveled and moved somewhere. Mm 
Look at that, the full energy. Interesting. The fool is a new journey. That's literally a zero in tarot. That fool is a new beginning. It's a new journey here. And with that ship, um, I am getting uh, the energy of you moving to a new direction. For some of you, this is in your financial situation here. With this devil energy, I feel like um, you could have been overworked some way. You could have been in this energy where you were working in your finances, but somehow you were locked into a situation where there was no way, either you felt like there was no way out of it, or there was just no way out of the circle. There was no way to move forward. There was no way to move up. You were just stuck in it. I'm getting that the energy here in the first half of July is going to start flowing easier for you. That's just what we see, that flow. The flow is opening up for you. And I'm getting that it starts with a new journey. Seven of Pentacles, again, new journey in finances, new money being made, new way of making money here. And Nine of Cups, I'm getting an energy of a good offer coming your way. A good offer could be called offer from a distance. This could be an offer that once you move somewhere, you could be ha you would, could have to relocate for this job, or you could have just recently relocated, or you're about to relocate, and that's where you're going to find this new offer here. Very good offer. Uh, something that's going to start a new is going to and has a great potential to grow that's what i'm seeing okay let's go ahead and move this out of the way saji let's go ahead and um let's pull some messenger delivery plant and animal oracle cards for you and see what else you need to know for the first half of july sagittarius build building i'm getting energy of building something some of you are working on your house and your home some of you could be building in your house or home some of you it's um, um what do you call it a shack in a backyard somebody's busy doing that and getting that energy interesting you got four cards for the more signs in this uh, particular series for the first half of July, we did three cards, but you got four. So let's go ahead and start clarifying. We're going to start with a pigeon. Interesting. A reciprocal connection stands out to me, but also um, kind of changing a direction when it comes to love life. Look at that, eight of wands. Yeah, changing direction, new love. There is new love here for you, Saji, and I feel like it's going to come very quickly. The errors of love, the eight of wands, a lot of times are um, exactly that, and er errors of love that are coming your way. And look at what you get it from, with Ace of Cups, new love. There is a definitely love around you. I do feel it's going to be a very wow. I didn't even see this, a very reciprocal connection. The lovers are coming out, beautiful union, beautiful love union, Gemini, could be definitely a Gemini here. You overcame a lot of challenges in your love life in a pre previously, and this connection is nothing like you've uh, had before. Reciprocal love, beautiful love, genuine love. This is something that is uh, blessed to happen. I'm getting that energy here, nice. Let's go ahead and clarify this box. What is it here for? Again, that energy of change is coming out. Oh, wow. If that's not change, the tower. I'm getting very strong energy of relocation for a lot of you, but also something that is um, ended, something that's ended here, something that um, fell apart. For some of you, you could have just recently gone through a divorce. There is definitely a change here in your love life. And with a star, you're healing. you're healing from a breakup. You're healing from a breakup. You're healing from an ending of a relationship here. I love to see the star here in, in the middle. I am getting this energy of heart healing, the change. Um, and I do feel that um, you think outside the box. You see love differently now. You know that you should take your cup of love somewhere else. And I do feel that there is absolutely love love here for you but it's not in the relationship where you're in right now i feel like that's something that is ending and there's a new love that is coming in for you a change a change is here jay oh i'm getting a lot of um chatty chatty energy chatting chatting with your friends chatting with your girlfriends boyfriends i'm getting this energy of a lot of chatter a lot of chatter coming out a lot of communication happy chatter happy chatter is coming out here 
I feel like you you definitely breaking out of some sort of um, a toxic relationship here. The devil in reverse. You're cutting the chains. You're not uh, committed to this relationship anymore. You're coming out of this relationship. Five of Wands in reverse. No more fighting. You're done with this. You're done with fighting. I'm getting the energy of very strong energy of you. You don't want to. Uh, you you don't. It's, you just putting that relationship in your past. You don't want to work on it anymore. You don't want to. You don't want to work on this relationship. You don't want to um, put any more energy into this relationship. The six of wands in reverse is like you don't need to win over this anymore. You're done with this. You're done. You're going somewhere else. And I do feel that uh, you will be. That, that happy chatter is coming out as in you like you're free you're free to do what you want you're free to meet with your friends you're free to go around and tell everybody that you know you are enjoying your life without being stuck in some sort of karmic or toxic relationship a lot of friends energy around you let's go ahead and clarify this more what is that all about Ooh, a lot of attraction i feel like you're attracting people. That message that we've got from the very beginning where you're confident, when you stand down in the crowd, when you go into some sort of event and all eyes are on you, I'm getting that again here in that moth energy. Look at that. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. How interesting. Um, seven of Pentacles upright could be something that is there but not enough. Seven of Pentacles in reverse is completely opposite. Interesting. Magician in reverse. Magician in reverse is like some sort of um, energy of a manipulator here. Ooh, look at that. There is two people around you here. I feel like you attract a lot of energy. You, lot, uh, you attract a lot of eyes on you. And not every person here has a, a most purest intention. Magician in reverse is manipulator. Is somebody who wants to manipulate um, uh, here, who wants to manipulate you, who is very passionate. Who, they could be here for good times, not long times. But with the two of wands, there is two different energies around you, at least two different energies. A lot of times people, um, it's it's like you need to choose you need to choose between two people with nine of cups i feel like you're going to take your time you're going to take your time you're comfortable where you are you you are in a good position you know there is love around you you know that you attract a lot of energy and you also know that you have a lot to offer look at that queen of wands this is you sagittarius this is you this is you sitting on your throne you're not giving away your energy to anybody who doesn't deserve it and this is you um, attracting again attracting a lot of energy on you and what I see here is that you know that you are the star and you're very respectful of your own energy you're res very respectful of your own time and you're only going to give your love to the person who truly deserves it that's what I'm getting here but there's so much energies around you that it's not easy to choose. I almost feel like you're going to take a little bit of time just to be on your own and enjoy the attention, but don't necessarily give in to any of these energies as of right now. But there is that one connection that is a true gem here, and that's what you're going to go for. This is what I see for you, Sagittarius. Very interesting times for you for coming up for you here in the first half of July. I hope these messages resonate. I do hope you found something in this reading that was helpful to you. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and bye for now.